what's up guys welcome back once again it is me Molt. so happy to be here with you guys today uh, I'm gonna be going over uh, a couple of attack strategies for lower levels so um, I'm on my town hall 8 account right now I'm gonna show you all some of the attack strategies that I like to use that I think are effective some of them cost more some of them cost less depends on your trophy pushing or if you're farming so on and so forth because a lot of times um, on YouTube, you won't find too many of just the basic attack strategies. So I'm going to be going over some of those today, uh, going through some of the reviews and whatnot. And I'm going to explain the attack strategies. I'm going to explain how you, deploy, how you deploy your troops, how you work through it, all that kind of stuff. And just talk about efficiencies and being effective at raiding. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the first raid right here. And we will go ahead and look at it. So I just did this one. This is a, uh, a Dragoon attack strategy. So uh, you have 20 balloons. And the, obviously one of the first things you want to do is get rid of the air defenses. So we're going to take out this air defense right here. We're going to drop down one, uh, one dragon right behind those just to help uh, start clearing out some of the buildings. All right. So we've gotten rid of two of the air defenses. We've still got one down here at the bottom. We're just going to drop off the rest of our balloons down there to take out uh, the rest of those air defenses. So now we've only got a couple of buildings left that can actually attack our troops since they are all, are all air. So we've got the Teslas, the Archer Towers, um, and the Wizard Towers because now all of the air defenses are down. So once we clear out this whole left side, we're gonna drop down our dragons over here and you're gonna see that they're slowly gonna start bunching up in this little corner right here. So we've got two of them with a couple of balloons. We're gonna drop that rage where our dragons are about to be uh, because we don't want to waste too much of it. You want to make sure that you cover where they're about to be so they can stay in it for the longest period of time. So right now they're actually still in it on the town hall. If I dropped it where they were, then they wouldn't be in the rage spell taking out the town hall. So now it's pretty much just, uh, they're good to go from here. We've got five dragons left over. They're going to slowly just work their way around the base. We have a lightning spell uh, that I had in case there were clan castle troops, but we didn't run into that issue with this raid. Also have my barbarian king, which I'm not going to end up needing either. So we'll go ahead and just fast forward this and you'll see that it's just going to finish up. So one of the biggest things, guys, is obviously taking out the air defenses with your uh, balloons. Since they are defense focused and the dragons aren't, the dragons get very distracted and they won't head straight for the buildings that are shooting them. So you've got to use your balloons to take out the uh, air defenses first and then you're going to need to um, use the rest of the balloons and whatnot to take out the archer towers as well. And then your dragons are just going to come in and clean up. So that was the dragoon attack strategy. Um, some people like air attacks. Some people don't like air attacks. It just depends on who you are and your kind of style. Uh, next, we're going to go in here. We're going to go back to uh, a strategy that I've been using a lot lately right down here at the bottom. Um, these, well, these bottom two right here against Jake and Ray David. You can see there's a good amount of loot. Why don't we go ahead and watch this one because I know this one was a little bit more challenging with these walls and having an expo. So you've got 20 giants and the whole point of the giants obviously is to build a great barrier to protect your archers and your wizards. So we're going to drop them all down here. And again, with that spell placement, guys, you want to drop it uh, where they are going and uh, if they're in an area where there's a lot of walls where they're going to be. So you see they're going to be around that cannon, around that archer tower, and around that other archer tower that they already took out. You want your heal spell to be right there. So we drop our wall breakers off. You can see that one just exploded right there. <clears throat> we destroyed these walls up here and these walls and then slowly moved in in a line. You want to make sure that you don't drop off too many wall breakers because then they'll just blow up a bunch of random walls that don't help you out. So uh, in this scenario, we dropped them off, they went up there, and then slowly they worked in here and started taking that out. So now we've got our rage spell in the middle. We've got a couple of wizards following them behind. You can see we've got some wizards right there. We've got archer towers working their way around. We've still got six wizards though because we don't want to drop them all at once. Otherwise, splash damage um, otherwise, splash damage is going to really, really wreck your wizards and your archers. So we've still got some of them all spread out, and we're going to drop our heal spell once again in the middle, and you can see that the heal spell cover covers 
all of the defenses. So these giants right here are getting healed as they attack that archer tower, and then they'll move on to the cannon and be healed, and then these are going to be healed as well while they are attacking that air defense. Um, these are still affected by that rage spell as well. As well, you can see that our wizards are slowly working their way into the center of the base. We've got our king in there, and all of the defenses uh, are distracted right now on the giants. You can see this archer tower, this cannon, um, this archer tower as well and this archer tower and that mortar are all distracted on that looks pretty sweet are all distracted on the giants so our king and our archers right here are able to just go to work we can drop off a couple more of our wizards you can see i've just spread all these troops around the outside because the archer tower and the cannons are distracted by those giants so you can come out here and you can drop off some of your troops i don't really know why that wizard just skipped he skipped this army camp to go and attack the other one. That's hilarious. But you can see that they're over here just having a heyday, which is another game by Supercell. They're just having a good old time destroying all these buildings because the archers were distracted by the giants. But now you can see they have turned and focused on these uh, wizards and archers down here because the giants are over here. Now this, this person, uh, Jake, actually has pretty well upgraded walls. So that's going to cause a problem for us at this point in the raid because our giants um, are just going to sit there, not do too much damage, and just get taken out by the Teslas, the Archer Towers, um, and just get a lot of work done to them. So at this point, the raid is pretty close to being over, but... We've gotten 53%, 54, 56, still moving on up. We don't have any more wizards left, but we do have um, some archers down here in the bottom corner. And uh, all of our giants are about to be dead. Our king is still up. We can go ahead and fast forward the last 20 seconds or so and see that we just end up um, getting 64%, not a bad amount of loot, 22 trophies from that as well. And that was a pretty hard base for a Town Hall 8 to go after when um, it's not fully maxed. I do still have to upgrade my P.E.K.K.A.s as well as my Rage Spell. So the Rage Spell that I wasn't using wasn't a maxed out Rage Spell for Town Hall 8. Uh, so that is a little bit annoying. Um, next we've got, we can, we'll go ahead and do this attack strategy. I'm going to go find a base and we'll do it. Um, we've got 10 Giants and they are going to be used as distraction with the barbarians. Uh, one of my favorite strategies is Wazarian. It just takes a while to train up. So we're going to go ahead and find ourselves a base that we can attack, and I'll be back with you guys in just a couple of seconds once I find a base worthy of attacking. Actually, why don't we go ahead and just attack this base because it doesn't have a bad amount of loot. 100,000 gold is good to go, but we only have... Uh, two of our spells up, but I don't want to skip it. So we're gonna drop off. Uh, we're gonna drop off our. Oh, dismiss. I know I got a low battery. <laughs> I'm just gonna plug it in real quick. So we've got. Um, so we've got our giants. We're gonna drop them off in a line right over here. There we go. And that just popped up in the middle of the recording. So we're gonna drop those off over there, drop off our wall breakers, and then here come the barbarians in a line behind them with a couple of wizards as well. Once again, we're gonna drop off a couple more of our um, <clears throat> of our wall breakers to get those giants into the center of the base. And we will drop off a heal spell right here just to help out drop off our king and he is going to run into the center of the base as well. We're just going to spread out some more of our barbarians down here just to help with a distraction. We've got a couple giants left in the middle, our king, a whole bunch of troops just going at it doing some serious damage. We're going to drop off our last two wizards up there and have them come in and take out that town hall. That mortar though is doing a good amount of damage to our troops. As you can see, um, we really need to get into the center of the base. I'm just going to go ahead and drop off the last little bit of our barbarians. These wizards in the center of the base are going to be our lifesaver when it comes to taking out that mortar because that is one of the biggest things that's doing damage to us right now. And we should be able to take out this wizard tower as well. Good, there we go. And they are still working their way around. We've got a couple of giants left. Our king is still at full health. Um, our wizards are ticking away at this wall. We've already got all the loot, and we are going to take out that last defense right there and finish this base up with a 100%. So that is awesome. That is exactly what I was expecting and hoping for from that raid. Again, guys, that was 10 giants. Um, let's go back and see exactly what that was. That was 10 giants, 6 wall breakers, 98 
uh, barbarians and 10 wizards. And I would have trained up one more healing spell um, as well to protect in the middle. So the way that, that attack strategy works is you make a wall with the giants and then a wall with the barbarians and then you drop off wizards behind them and they slowly do damage while being protected by the tanky characters in the front. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope that you all enjoyed. Again, these are just some of my favorite, uh, most effective attack strategies for lower levels. You can do these on Town Hall 7, Town Hall 6 as well, um, because the troops aren't that hard to get. I know that you can get balloons um, with Town Hall 7 and so on and so forth. So definitely try them out, guys. Tweak the numbers a little bit to make it work for you. Uh, and I hope that you all enjoyed. I hope that you learned a lot. And as always, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.